Hi, this is an ERP report which is exported to Excel and uh, we opened here. So this looks good on the screen and uh, when we print it out also it's a tabular format, it's good. But if you look at this, if you want to do any summary of the data by date or by any other means, by amount or anything, it's very difficult for the user to sum it up because there are lots of gaps in between. You can see there is a page header, I mean the column header in between and there is a page title is appearing in between, there are blank rows. So to get rid of this, the user normally what he does is he goes to each uh, rows and select this and say delete rows. But this is a very inefficient way of doing it and think of a situation where you have hundreds of pages. If it is an year-end report or uh, any trial balance or any other report, it runs into hundreds of pages. If it is one or two pages, fine, you can do it manually. But if you look at this report, this if you see there are uh, multiple pages, it runs into uh, so many rows and uh, I think it's around more than uh, almost like 500 rows and uh, these page headers are appearing in between not less than 20 times. So if you want to remove those, you have to go to each uh, page header and remove it uh, manually. This is where the go to special function comes handy. What you can do is first you identify a column where you should always have a data. If you look at this, this is a transaction date column where always there is a data and this is a journal number, this is also fine and if you look at source document, there is a blank row here and added code, there is a blank, debit column, there is a blank and a credit, there is amount but we are not sure, maybe there are places where it may be empty and description also there are empty rows. So we should identify a column which we are very sure that always should have a value. So in this case either we can select transaction date or the journal number. So let us go and select the transaction date column. So select this entire column, press F5 or Control G that takes you to the special, go to special window, click on special, click on blanks and click OK. If you scroll down and see here there are all the blank rows has been selected and it's been highlighted. So once this is highlighted it's very easy. We'll just right click on this and say delete and select entire row. Say so this. So all the rows, all the rows which were blanks have been removed. But there is one problem. So we can see there is a transaction date here and a journal number. All these are a page header which is appearing in every page or after 10 records, 20 records and it's not consistent. You can't put a formula and remove it. So what we can do is again you select uh, this same column and we want to remove the transaction date. I mean this row except the first appearance. That means from here, wherever this row appears, we want to remove. What we can do is you select here and control shift down arrow. So this selects till the end and say control F and search for transaction date. So it selects everything. There are 15 appearance. That's what it says here. And within this selection, you press Ctrl A. See what happens. Close this window, find and replace. And if you see this transaction date is selected everywhere except the, the first appearance. So, so again the same technique, we'll right click on this and say delete and entire row. So if you look at this, there is no subheading, there is no blanks or anything. Is a plain data and if you want you can just remove this three rows at the top and right click and say delete it's done so this is how you can use the go to special 
blank function. So same way there are other features in go to special which is which comes very handy in your day to day work. So try to explore all those options. Thank you.